Hello again, children, and welcome to this video lesson. On our last video, we saw what the internet is. We learned that the internet is a network of networks, meaning that different, different networks from around the world are joined together to form the internet. Now, in this lesson, we are going to look at some examples of internet communications. Now, if you use the internet, then you probably use internet-based communications to contact family and friends. The internet offers a number of ways to communicate. Now, here are some examples of internet communication. One is instant messaging. The internet allows us to send and receive messages within seconds using apps like WhatsApp, Viber, Skype, Messenger, among others. So we can communicate or send and receive messages from family and friends using instant messaging on these social media applications. All right. We also have what we call the internet telephony. Now, this Internet telephony, it uses internet rather than telephone lines to connect to two or more people or talk to people. So rather than calling using the telephone line, you can, you, you can use internet telephony to call family, friends, or people. You can be in a group and then talk on the internet or on the telephone. Now, microphone and a speaker is connected to the computer at two ends. So this can be used like a telephone receiver to have conversations. So here in this picture illustration, we have a telephone connected to the computer. So when you call, you are not using the telephone line, but rather you are connecting making the calls through the internet. Okay, we also have the electronic mail or the email, one of the ways in which we communicate over the internet. As I said earlier, email stands for electronic mail and it is similar to a letter that is you send to a friend or a family. This time, you don't take this letter to the post office, but rather it is sent through the internet to the recipient. Now, to send and receive an email, one needs to have an email address from an email service provider like Gmail, Yahoo Mail, among others. The internet also allows us to communicate through video conferencing. Video conferencing is a technology that allows different locations, sorry, different users from different locations to hold a face-to-face -face meeting without having to move to a single location. So this video, sorry, picture illustration shows an example of a video conference call. All right, so with apps like Zoom, Jetsy meeting, Go meeting, among others. Even your WhatsApp can do video meetings, or sorry, video calls. Okay, but these calls are all only made possible over the internet. Now we also have SMS and other wireless communications. SMS stands for short message service. It is a text messaging service component of most telephone, internet, and mobile device systems. This service enables mobile, mobile devices to exchange short text messages. We also have the multimedia messaging service, which is the MMS. And it is also a standard way to send messages. But this time, the messages can include multimedia content like pictures and videos that you can send to and from a mobile phone over 
cellular network. So down here we have the SMS which sends text and then we also have the MMS which can send both text and images. All right. Okay. So in this lesson, we have learned about some examples of internet communications. Do you still remember them? All right. We learned about instant messaging. We also saw email, video conferencing, um, MMS, and then SMS. We also talked about the internet telephony. Okay. So in our next video, we'll learn about web browsers and some popular web browser examples. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.